Yo, 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 what is up, guys? This is Norm from Daily Fantasy Archive. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy the daily content, make sure to hit that notification bell button so you're notified every time we upload. And also, let's smash this like button. Let's get 20 likes. Let's get back on track with the support you guys have been giving us. Uh, anyways, let's get right into tonight's slate. Let's talk a bit, a bit about yesterday's slate. Had a really insane uh, lineup yesterday for uh, DraftKings. All you guys cashed out. I'm pretty sure the fan duel lineup missed out by maybe one point. Uh, I know 150.50 that I was in missed out by uh, last spot in the money. You may have made it in the money. You may have not. You will have to let me know on that one. But the uh, NBA lineup that I put out was insane. Dropped 343.2, placing all GPPs and 50.50s and double ups. So you guys want to stay tuned for those lineups. Today you'll see them on Twitter at DFS underscore archive. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Uh, the first goal that I'm going to be looking at tonight definitely is going to be Devin Dubnik. Uh, Devin Dubnik uh, is in the highest Vegas odds to win tonight. Minnesota is 25-12-2 on home ice. And Colorado is 9-28-1 on the road. Uh, Dubnik is uh, better on home ice. Excuse me, but Minnesota has been playing very awful lately. But this should be a very easy bounce back game for the whole team. Uh, Colorado is the worst team in the league. And they need to get back on the win, uh, the winning end before they go into the playoffs. And Colorado's two and eight in their last uh, ten meetings between these two ten, uh, two teams. The other goal that I would take a look at, also in a very nice favorable matchup, one of these two goals that I would pick either or you should be fine with is John Quick. He's in the second fit in that highest Vegas favorites to win tonight. LA is 21 and 14 on home ways, and Arizona is 11, 24 and 4 on the road. The play is way better on home ways, and LA is better than Arizona in every category that there is. Other goal that I would take a look at would be uh, Martin Jones in a very good, favorable spot, too. Also, the first center I'm going to be taking a look at is uh, Kobatar on the first line of first line power play, and the third highest team total. Has 8 points in his last 10 games and plays way better on home ways. And has 8 points in his only 4 games he's played against the Arizona this season. Also, Arizona is the 4th worst team for giving offensive points to centers. So, a great spot. First time, I'm going to be locking into this line that I'm going to be making for you guys. 50-50 cash games. Eric Stahl. He's on the first line of first line power play in the highest team total game. He has 7 points in his last 10 games. And Colorado is off for overall. And they're also giving up 2nd uh, most offensive points to centers. So, he's in a favorable matchup tonight. Uh, Sean Monaghan. And also in the great spots on the first on first on power play. He has 12 points in his last 10 games and plays way better on home ice. Also has three points in his last three against uh, Anaheim and is also on a four game point streak who has been very hot lately and on fire, so he's in a nice spot. The other center I'm going to be locking is Braden Point. He's in an excellent matchup. One of the pieces, uh, all this uh, Tampa Bay team today, they're all in great spots. Another player that I would look at would be Phil, uh, uh, Phil Fila. He's on the second line on Philly. Uh, Philly has been killing it lately, scoring a lot of goals, and he's in a great favorable matchup. And he's um, he only costs 3.5k, so he should easily pay off value. Uh, the wingers I'm going to be looking at first one's Kucherov. Very hard to fade him on this slate tonight. He's on the first on the first on power play in the fourth highest team total. Has 13 points in his last nine games and plays twice as good on home ways. He has been held off the board, uh, the scoreboard the last two games, but stars like him don't uh, don't take on the bounce back. This should easily be a bounce back game for him. Uh, Dallas owns the second worst defense, and Dallas giving up the most fancy points to uh, to, uh, to centers. So Point is also great in a great spot, like I said before, and Kudrov's in an excellent spot too. So both of these guys, uh, Alex Ovechkin. Will be another winger I would look at. He's on the first on the first on power play. He has 11 points in his last 10 games, and much like Nikita Kudrov, he's been held off the board in the last two games in a row. With stars like him and Kudrov bounce back uh, very fast, and when they do bounce back, they bounce back hard. And uh, he's taking a lot of shots, so he's a nice safe floor. Another winger that I would take a look at will be Joe Pavelski, my player pool. And then your guys you should look at. He's on the first on the first on power play. He has six points in his last ten games, but he's on a three-game point streak and has been playing very consistent lately. Uh, Grandlin is also in an excellent spot. He got six point five K. He's on a second line, second line power play, and a very favorable matchup. And he plays a lot better on home ice. Some other wingers I would take a look at would be uh, would be Wheel. 
Is, I told you guys to take him last night and he scored. He's in a very nice favorable matchup. Uh, Charlie Coyle. He's bouncing back between the first and second line. He's projected at the second line tonight, but he plays on the first line power play. So I'm going to be locking him, him in tonight. He's very cheap and he's been playing very well against his last three out of the two games. Uh, two out of three games that he played against Colorado lately. If you check his game log, he's played amazing against him. Plays very good. Colorado's an awful team overall. And uh, another player that I will lock in will be Braden Shen. He's in a nice spot. Uh, Rangers are a bit better of a defensive team, but Braden, uh, Braden Shen is on, on fire lately. And Philly's been scoring a lot of goals, and I could easily see him hitting value, if not getting an assist or a goal again tonight. This guy's been insane lately. Uh, the last one I'm going to lock in will be uh, Palat. Uh, Palat. There we go. Palat is going to first line up sacking his first line of Tampa. I think this is going to be a high scoring game, which it uh, is at right now. It is the uh, projected goals. Tampa is in a high scoring game with 3.1. It's going to be a good game to stack. And in these games above, should be high scoring games. And we're in a 5.5 total, and they're high Vegas favorites to uh, to win right now. So I could easily see them exploiting uh, the Dallas defense, and their uh, penalty kill is very awful. So all these guys should do great tonight on Tampa Bay. Um, some other value players I would look at on the wing would be uh, would be Chris uh, Chris Stewart is very cheap. He's on the first line. He doesn't pay a power play, but this first line, he could easily get some. Uh, if you don't want to pay for these guys like Aristotle and other guys, easily take Chris Stewart. He's been playing well the last two games since he's been moved out to the first line. A great pump play tonight. Very well. Nice spot. And Alex Kilhorn is also in a great spot tonight. He's on the second line. Uh, defensively, I'm going to be taking um, uh, Brent Burns. He's in an excellent spot tonight. He's on a first on first on power play. Hasn't been playing very well lately, but he's this is his best chance to bounce back. He has four points in three games against Vancouver, and he's taking a lot of shots and blocked shots, so it's a safe floor. And Vancouver owns a 27 ranked penalty kill, so if they get on a power play, it should easily kill him. And he plays a lot better on the road. Another defenseman I would look at tonight will be Victor Hedman, cost 6.7k. He's on a first on first on power play. Has nine points in his last 10 games and plays way better on home ways. He has three points in his only three and only game against uh, Dallas season, and he's on a three-game point streak. And Dallas is off team overall, and should easily hit value here in this uh, great matchup. Uh, another last defense I'm gonna be locking in will be Jake Muzzin. Uh, he costs 4.7k. He's been on far lately. He's done second line, second line power play, and the second highest team total. He has six points in his last ten games and plays way better on home ways, and has three points in his only four games against Arizona season. He is also on a two-game point streak, and now Arizona also gives out the fifth most fantasy points to Demons, so it's an excellent matchup. The value plays I would look at if I wasn't taking any of these guys would be Gothenburg, very cheap, in a great spot. They've been playing well lately. Uh, David Shunko is an excellent pick, value play, pick. I've been taking him lately. He's a great spot, and he has some upside of a chance of getting a goal tonight against Vancouver. Lots of shots, lots of box shots he takes. Uh, Velasic's in a great spot. If you're not taking uh, Brett Burns, it's a nice spot to take uh, Velasic tonight. Um, you probably would want to take a uh, defenseman from this uh, the Sharks game. They're all in great spots. Uh, Brady Skajij is uh, another great value play lately. He's been playing very well, playing uh, Philadelphia Flyers. Great, great spot. Uh, Matt Niskanen is also another nice uh, value play, very cheap, 3.7k. And the last value play I would look at is Sammy Vatnin. If he plays tonight, I don't think he is, but if he does, he's in a very great spot. He costs 3.9k. Uh, you have 100 left, so you can change around a little bit. If you feel a player's in a different, uh, better spot, change it around. You can switch Brett Burns for uh, Headman would be my pick. If I'm not going to Burns, I'm going Headman definitely. Um, you guys are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, follow us on Twitter, DFS underscore Archive, and smash that like button. Let's get 20 likes on the video. And good luck tonight, guys.